Water bags are highly dependent on water as they cannot tolerate dehydration in hot weather. Most other antelope species drink once every one to three days, but the water bag has to drink two or more times a day. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode will be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. These are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongabay to get notifications about our latest videos. Waterbacks are large antelopes native to sub-Saharan Africa. As their name indicates, they inhabit areas that are close to water in savanna grasslands, gallery forest, and riverine woodlands. These animals have big rounded ears and shaggy reddish brown to gray fur. Their coats are coarse and emit an oily secretion from the sweat glands which act as a water repellent. Males are the only ones that have horns that can grow as long as 100 centimeters. Females give birth to a single calf after isolating in thickets. When babies are born, it takes them about half an hour to gain their feet. Mothers hide their young for about three weeks, returning three to four times a day to feed them. During each cycling session, the mother also cleans the calf so that no odor is left that can potentially attract predators. Even so, calf mortality is high, and the main predators that attack newborns are lions, hyenas, and leopards. After being weaned, young males often form all-male groups near the occupied territories, while the young females stay in their mother's group. Waterbacks are generally peaceful but can become highly aggressive when fighting to defend territories. When food supply is low, however, bulls often tolerate each other in communal zones near waterholes, and dominant bulls may associate permanently with a breeding herd until displaced by a younger bull. Waterbacks eat a variety of grasses, but when necessary they also eat other herbs and occasionally browse leaves from certain trees and bushes. These antelopes are good swimmers and are known to swim to islands in lakes to graze. They also use water for protection. When potential danger is detected, they frequently go into water and submerge themselves, only leaving their nostrils above the surface. In Gorongosa National Park in Mozambique, where these videos come from, they number in the tens of thousands. They are more than an order of magnitude more abundant than they usually are. The reason for this remains a mystery, but these videos are helping us determine why waterbuck are so hyperabundant in Gorongosa. In part, their abundance may be due to the fact that Gorongosa is a bit unusual ecologically. The park floods annually, which means that it is much wetter than most savannas. Large parts of the park are essentially river margins, the perfect habitat for waterbuck. We hope that, by analyzing waterbuck behavior in these videos, we can tease apart why Gorongosa is able to support so many waterbuck. Due to hunting, waterbacks have been eliminated widely within their former range. Now, they also have increased mortality due to food shortage and decrease in food quality. They have a declining population and the IUCN lists them as least concern. In the next episode, we'll be meeting the animal that inspired the Paddington bear. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time. Mm -hmm.